Hey, white boy from the yard, you wanted to know what I do for my home checkup while I'm doing a steroid or SARM cycle. What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard back at it again with another video and today we are talking about how to do a home cycle checkup so whether you would be on SARMs or on steroids and you should do a little bit medical checks at home yourself first i'm not a doctor don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever i don't pretend to be a doctor don't listen to what i say this is all my personal opinion and how i see things and what it would do to my body always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementation all right so um today the question will be answered by dr tony huge so for an experiment i'm about to do a transformation actually uh, with someone who reached out to me or really wanted to do it we are going to follow the psalmsbook.com advanced hybrids steroids cycle stack and um we want to keep in touch like every few days and just see how his uh stats and values are at the moment so that's why we want to know uh the heart rate blood pressure and stuff like that so tony just just tell us man hey white boy from the yard you wanted to know what i do for my home checkup while i'm doing a steroid or sarm cycle so i made you a little list show you daily what I think about while I'm on cycle for both health and to further my experimentation so that I'm being fully aware of how these compacts compounds are affecting my health uh, I, I monitor my heart rate uh, this has a lot to do with stimulants whether I'm using too much stimulants or not but it also has to do with overtraining heart rate will increase uh, in a na like chronically uh, when overtraining or the body is under stress uh, so I monitor that just by putting my finger on my pulse on my wrist like that and just feeling how many beats and I've become uh, Really aware and experienced with what my heart rate is and what it should be so I can notice differences with it body heat also you can feel you see like Parents will feel their children's head with the back of their hand. That's one way to do it. You can compare your skin temperature to someone else's. This indicates whether the body is under stress, uh, how fast the metabolism is. Higher the body temperature, usually uh, faster the metabolism is going, which can be uh, good or bad, but usually good for bodybuilding purposes to have a higher body temperature. I monitor my urine color. That helps me determine whether I'm drinking enough water because if the urine starts getting really dark, um, yes, it will artificially be dark when you take more supplements, but also the more supplements you take, the more water you need. So when the urine gets darker and darker, and I know this is debatable, a lot of these things are debatable, but in, for, for myself personally, I'll tell you what I do. If the urine's too dark, that means I need to drink more water. Uh, water retention. So if water retention is really bad, I can press on the skin and see if there's edema. Like if, if it takes a while for the indentation to come to fill back out, uh, but I also monitor water retention by like my finger size, uh, my foot, uh, how it feels in the shoes, and just how I look. Uh, mirror, looking in the mirror, just to see how I generally look and feel and how the compounds are affecting me. Hair loss, so the way I check hair loss, so it's consistent, is in the shower, right? When I first start washing myself and my hair, I go like this. I put my fingers through my hair, close my fingers, and lift like that. And if hair comes out, then I know I'm losing hair. There's always going to be some hair loss. We're always shedding hair. But if I see like two hairs, okay, that's normal. If I see like ten hairs, okay, now I'm, I'm losing hair. Whatever I'm taking is impacting <clears throat> my hair. Uh, testicles. So I check my testicle size. I just feel them. And if they feel like they're getting smaller, um, then I know that I'm being suppressed more by the compounds. Uh, sleep apnea, so this is having someone else listen to my sleep and see if I'm snoring and how my breathing is. Uh, how I feel, obviously there's a thousand different indicators in the body that you could pay attention to to constitute how you feel to comprise that. Now blood pressure and blood glucose. Blood pressure, I can feel pressure in my head, uh, but I do have a blood pressure monitor that costs $18 from Amazon and it's fairly accurate and if you want to make sure you, you get a more accurate reading do it twice in a row and see how consistent the blood pressure is and you hold it like this you hit the button and i can do a separate video on how i use each of the devices because that's its own video and you relax you breathe very controlled and relaxed because you don't want an artificially uh increased blood pressure elevated blood pressure because you're under stress so you want to relax while you do it 
and then blood glucose, and that's a blood glucose monitor. And if I was fasting or doing a ketogenic diet, then I'd also be testing ketones with a ketone, t uh, either ketone urine strips or preferably ketone blood test strips. So the blood glucose monitor I have actually tests for ketones and blood glucose, but usually I'm just testing for blood glucose by pricking my finger just like a diabetic. And when I'm going really hardcore on experiments, uh, that involve blood glucose levels, I'm using a continuous blood glucose monitor in which the needle stays inside of me and I have a scanner that just constantly scans and updates and charts my blood glucose throughout the day, but that requires a prescription as a hassle. The blood, glu blood glucose monitors over the counter only cost $30, so cheap, and it's such good information. Checking blood glucose in the morning when you're fasted is the best time. Understand it'll be artificially, well, it'll be elevated, but caused by MK677 and growth hormone. Uh, but that's also another reason why we have to manage blood glucose levels, especially when we're using those compounds. So that just helps you understand on a daily basis what I go through mentally and, and might test myself as far as a home checkup. And in addition to that, I'll do blood work at uh, doctor's offices and clinics frequently. Be swole and swole, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution. All right, thanks a lot for answering these questions again. This is very helpful, actually. Don't forget to subscribe because we are going to do these transformations on YouTube as well. So these little checkups will be posted and everything. Maybe we would do a lot of short videos or one whole video. Um, so, but like I said, don't forget to subscribe to don't miss it. Thanks a lot, Tony, again. Don't forget to go to my Instagram, which is whiteboyfromtheyard. And thanks a lot for watching again. I'm out. Thank you.